Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Butters, you ever hear of the Reichstag fire? It's the OG false flag, dude. Uh, the what now? A rice tag? The Reichstag fire? It was Germany's parliament building, and in 1933, it burned down. Hitler blamed the communists, but guess what? It was totally the Nazis who did it so they could take over everything. Ex Gosh, really? That sounds... bad. They used it as an excuse to pass all these crazy laws and turn Germany into a dictatorship. So, like, they burned down their own house just to blame someone else? Pretty much. And that's not the only time this crap's happened. Ever hear of the Gulf of Tonkin? Uh, I think my uncle mentioned something about that once. Isn't it, uh, near Hawaii? It's off the coast of Vietnam. In 1964, the U.S. government said their ships got attacked by North Vietnamese boats. So, they used it to start the Vietnam War. Oh no. Did the boats get blown up real bad? That's the thing, Butters. The second attack never even happened. They made it up to trick people into going to war. False flags, my friend. They're everywhere. That sounds awful. But, are you sure about all this? I mean, maybe it was just a big old misunderstanding? Butters, misunderstandings don't involve secret government cover-ups. You think people in power just trip over their shoe? Well, sometimes I trip over stuff. Butters, listen to me. History is full of this kind of crap. False flags are like the cheat codes of geopolitics. The people in charge do something shady, blame someone else, and boom, instant war. Gee whiz, Cartman. If that's true, how come nobody ever talks about it? The people who run the world don't want you to know. And they want you distracted with TikToks and pumpkin spice lights you don't ask questions. But not me. Chest, I asked the hard question. Should we do something? Like, uh, tell folks about this? I'm starting a podcast. Kerr, Carmen uncensored the truth they don't want you to hear. And you, my friend, are going to be host. Me? Oh, gee. I don't know if I'm cut out for that kind of thing, Cartman. Don't worry, Butters. You just sit there and agree with me. I'll handle the big ideas. Okay. But, uh, can we at least get snacks? Fine, Butters. But I'm putting it on the show's expense account. You know, like you're certainly willing to risk offending me in the pursuit of truth. It's been rather uncomfortable. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My uncle was at the grocery store, and the lady cashier asked him, Would you like me to double bag it? He replied, Let's go for drinks first. It's the German! Attention, Eric Cartman. Your hate-filled rhetoric has disrupted the balance of maple syrup and politeness across Canada. As punishment, you will be permanently muted. No more talking. Ever fucking awkward. Eric Cartman, your words have been processed through the universal politeness algorithm. Result, a perfect storm of offensive, crude and maple leaf insulting rhetoric. As the official representative of Canada, I declare you guilty of third degree humor negligence. Your sentence. 20 years of mandatory niceness training with Justin Trudeau. Awkward for you.